John Black, super chemist. I don't even know if that's, I can't see the screen. Anyways, uh, we're here to do uh, methyl ethyl ketone. You can see I got some right here. It's crown. So look here. A methyl ethyl ketone. Sometimes it's called MEK. Um, it's probably like 10, 12 bucks or something at this Lowe's. Any hardware store will have this. I like to call it butanone. Um, a lot of people call it tube butanone. Like I said, MEK, methyl ethyl ketone. It is a ketone. Here's a picture of it. You got a methyl group on one side, a methyl group on the other side, uh, split up by a uh, carbonyl. Here's a molar mass density. If you divide that, you'll get the uh, molar volume, um, freezing point, boiling point. You can see the boiling point's a lot higher than acetone. See, that? this is acetone. It has a methyl methyl ketone. This is methyl ethyl ketone. So you get the extra carbon here. Um, I think acetone is, I'm just guessing, but I think it's like 56 degrees boils at. This boils at 78.64, almost 79, almost 80 degrees. 25.5 uh, grams of it is soluble in 100 milliliters of water. I'm guessing that's at room temperature. Um, unlike propanone or acetone, uh, butane forms an azeotrope with water. Okay, acetone does not. Okay, uh, but, but this stuff. So if you, it's 89% by weight. Uh, the butanone and the other 11% would be the water. This is the density of the azeotrope. You can see there's a difference. This is pure 0 0.805, 0 0.83, 0 0.80. It's a difference. Uh, so there's the density of that. Um, you'd have to uh, dry it out with something like uh, manganese sulfate or uh, what do you call it? Uh, calcium chloride or something like that. Now, crown. I looked up the MSDS, the earliest one I can find I think was 2000, I can't remember, maybe 2010 or something like that. Uh, and it said greater than 96, I mean greater than 99% pure. So they're saying that it's 99 point something percent pure, uh, methyl ethyl ketone. Um, Sherman Williams, I looked that up, it was 100%. I looked up two other ones that were 100%. And I looked up one other one and it was uh, 95 to 100%. I think that was StarTech, I, I can't remember. Um, so most of them are very pure already. Um, like I said, the lowest one i seen was 95%. And it didn't even say 95%, it said 95 to 100%. So uh, if you get it, you might want to you know, distill it to make sure. Uh, um, oh, and dry it out with the, you know, the drying it, some kind of drying agent, like anhydrous your soap. And you'll have some pretty pure stuff. Uh, there's one one unique thing about the uh, butanone. Uh, the PKA is 14.7, okay? And that's pretty low for a you know, a hydrocarbon, you know, type solvent, you know, it's not like water. Water is 14. PKA of 14, is they're almost exactly the same. It almost has a PKA of water. Ethanol is 15.9. It's actually more acidic than ethanol. And uh, you can see acetone is it's pretty acidic too, but it's not as acidic as, say, ethanol or this, or water. Um, this is a nice uh, thing to get. Nice ketone. Um, that's basically the whole thing. This is a how to get video, so I'm not trying to get into you know, too much stuff here. Like I said, either buy it pure, or buy it and distill it just to make sure. And, you know, uh, Throw some stuff in to dry it up. It's that, it's that easy. Anyways, y'all have a great day, and always remember, science is great.
I just wanted to show my barrettes, I think they're called. I'm not actually sure what they're called. Uh, but this one's a, uh, oh, this one's a hundred milliliter and the other one is uh, 50. Basically, it's just like a, uh, <coughs> get it up there. It's just like a, uh, uh, volumetric, uh, column. Um, except it has a stop cock at the bottom. You use it for titrations. That way you get an exact, because when you titrate something, you might only use like a couple milliliters of stuff. You want it to be exact. You want it to be precise. It's not like you're, you know, using a liter. Uh, and then here I got a 50 milliliter one. It's got the thing, see, put that on there. And it's just basically hang it up like that. That way, when you put your stuff in, you know exactly what's there. You open this up, titrate it, titrate, titrate. When it's you're done, you get an exact reading again, and you can take the difference to know, you know, how much you used. Anyways, just something, something to show you. There we go. There's my foot. You can see how, you know, how long here or whatever. Yeah, I'm